So my name is Reynaldo Gil Zambrano. I am an assistant professor of pre-making and arts here at Gonzaga University. So I always wanted to do, uh, do art since I was a little kid. I was always copying little comics. I was always fascinated with visual narratives and stories. What fascinates me the most about pre-making is like how it provides a voice to those that don't have a voice in that moment. The possibility is that your own art making can elevate a story and make it immortal, you know, and, and be preserved through time. It just uh, allows you to understand yourself a little bit more, you know. Um, you spend a lot of time alone somehow marinating all these ideas. You as an individual, you are part and you are a product of your environment, you know. So if you can somehow absorb all these different things and putting it together into a narrative, it's, it's great. That inexplainable feeling of, you know, being in the zone, producing something, spending the time to craft something and then seeing the results, it just makes you feel empowered. It makes you feel, you know, that, that you can make things. And then when you see that interacting with other people and creating a dialogue, it's just pretty amazing. I didn't know that much about Carmax. But once I started reading about it, um, I was just fascinated about his resilience. He could take actions um, and take ownership of certain actions and control certain things around him in order to change his, his reality. And being empowered through that, that experience and then allow that to also empower others, you know, and help others, improving, you know, the civil rights around them, like, and their opportunities and, and also their freedoms, you know, related to the system where they were living. And I wanted to replicate that history into three main parts in the piece. So if you see that it's like a little scene of him like fighting, and then you see him like becoming the, the public speaker, you know, trying to like somehow like uh, pass down this, uh, this information, help out the, his community. And then you see on the top part, a portrait uh, later in his life where you can, you know, just get to recognize the icon, making a really huge impact in his community. I decided to title it Unforgettable. I just feel that it's a reminder, right? Like the fact that we get to illustrate or take parts of a bigger story and somehow summarize everything to one image, you know, one visual narrative. As artists, we have that power, you know, we can take something tr uh, from time, right, from real life, and then somehow transform it and make it memorable. So these things can continue to live uh, uh, beyond time, you know, and through time, and also be a reality for others beyond the limitations of the written language too. So that's the main reason why I wanted to to, to call it like that. It's just a, a, a reminder.